Now I've updated the tension acting at A uh, with the answer we just got from part B. It's now W over 6 minus 40 thirds Newton. And let's just write down what we're given. We're told that the tension at C, so that's TC, is 8 times the tension in the rope at A, so that's 8TA. So we've got our equation. All I need to do now is just substitute these values in and rearrange it for W. So we've got TC then is the value up there, 5 6 W plus 100 over 3 and that would equal 8 times the tension acting at A. So that would be W over 6 minus 40 over 3. So if we say, let's expand that bracket. I mean there's various ways that you can obviously do this but uh, I'm just picking on this way. If we expand the bracket we've got 8W over 6 and 8 times 40 over 3 is 320 over 3. Now if I multiply through by 6 we're going to get 5w for this term. Multiply this by 6, 3 into 6 goes 2, so 100 times 2 is 200. This term becomes simply 8w and then if we times this by 6, 3 into 6 goes 2, 2 lots of 320 is minus 640. Rearrange this. Let's say we subtract 5w from both sides. That will give us 3w. And if we add 640 to both sides, that gives us 840. So dividing through by 3 means that it follows that w will equal 840 divided by 3, which is 280. So w, the weight, is 280 newtons. Okay, well that brings us now nicely to the end of this question.